Hello, you absolutely amazing, spectacular, wonderful, fabulous, amazing, great, per fabulous, perfectionate, perfectional, perfect, perfect person ever. And thank you so, so much for clicking on my video. Did you change your hair? Did I change my hair? I did change my hair. It was actually kind of like I made a huge mistake and I messed it up and um, this is how it turned out, but I'm not mad at it. Anyways, I am so excited for this video and I know, I know I always say that I'm so excited and that's because I am always excited. Like sharing this is like my absolute favorite thing in the world. My bugs are my absolute favorite thing in the world and sharing them with you guys is just my absolute favorite thing ever in the world. I need to move this, this looks ugly. It's a temporary enclosure, it's a long story, long story. Anyways, today, I'm doing an unboxing from Bugs in Cyberspace and I'm sure you've all heard me talk on and on and on about how much I love Bugs in Cyberspace. I think they're amazing. They do not sponsor me, although occasionally I do get freebies in my orders because I think the owner Peter just knows that I'm a huge bug nerd and I really appreciate them. And anyways, we're doing an unboxing from Bugs in Cyberspace and this unboxing is packed with excitement also the i took the stuff out of the box i'm like shaking it around there's nothing in here it's just it's an empty box this unboxing is so exciting for three reasons one we are unboxing the spider that piqued my interest in this whole hobby and that got me into this the spider that i saw and i was like yes i need these so we're unboxing that two we're unboxing a species of bug that is extinct in the wild it is extinct in the wild because humans destroyed its habitat. And the only reason that it's still in existence is because people have brought it into the bug keeping hobby and have, repro <laughs> have reproduced it and created more and more. So they're still existing, they're still thriving in captivity. Sadly, they're no longer in the wild again because their habitat was destroyed by humans. And so, yeah, so they're extinct in the wild, but thriving in captivity so that is cool yay for captive breeding um and three we're unboxing a mystery animal and i'm kind of scared for this mystery animal because it all started after i posted the tiktok with the jerusalem cricket that um, a tarantula cat saw it and got her own it went kind of viral it's like my most viral thing i've ever done and it was like really cool but um he commented saying if he has something even crazier for me and then when i placed this order I just got a really cryptic email that was like, your new mystery pet is surprisingly easy to care for, but like, let me know if you have any questions. And I'm like, it was like very vague, very cryptic. And I'm just like, what could that mean? So we're going to find out what that is together. So this is like a hugely, vastly exciting unboxing for me. And I hope that I'm not too spastic. I'm going to try to control myself and be zen. But anyways, let's just jump in, enough of me talking, and let's see some bugs. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to show, because I actually already saw it, um, is the spider that I said is the spider that got me into the whole hobby. And if you don't know the story, I won't bore you with the details, but essentially I was down, I was sad, I was depressed, and I went to an exhibit at a museum in which they had spiders, and I fell in love with the spiders and I knew I wanted spiders. So without any further ado, that spider is the green lynx spider. And these are really tiny slings. So you're not going to get like an amazing um, look probably at them, but I'll try and show. Where are you? Here he is. This little, he's parachuting. This little green guy. This little, tiny, <gasps> can you see this? Come here. Okay. Okay, the camera cut out, but after a good like minute of chasing the spider around the floor, 
We are back safe, secure in the cup. Oh my gosh. Apparently green leaf spiders are really good jumpers. I didn't know that, but now I do. And so do you. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you the green leaf spider. They're so fast. They're really green already as slings. But yeah, I'm so happy to see these bred in captivity. Because I think they're a really awesome spider that people should be able to have to enjoy. Let's see. Do not jump. Do not jump. Don't jump. And I am so excited to see these spiders grow up. They're gonna be so green and so pretty and they almost have this like rainbowy kind of look to their legs. It's amazing. They are such cool true spiders and like I'm so excited to have them. And I'm so excited to finally have them and they're gonna be successful. And this is the spider that, that, that got me into this whole hobby. So thank you, Green Link Spider. It's that and the Orb Weaver, which is probably too big to keep in my home, but maybe we'll see. So the next thing we're gonna look at is the Extinct in the Wild Cockroach. I love cockroaches, like I don't know why, and I have lived in a cockroach infested apartment. You can ask anyone that knows me personally, I lived in a cockroach infested apartment in Los Angeles and that was not a good time. And German cockroaches are not my favorite thing. It was kind of traumatic. Yes, I've been there. I've been there. I have. But these roaches that I keep will not infest your home. It won't happen. They need special conditions to breed. And if they're not given those special conditions, you're not gonna get babies. I have not, I've had like three babies ever be born and I'm not trying to breed so that's fine with me but yes that's an aside anyways so this is called the I had to write it down Simondoa conserfarium that's the scientific name of this roach and these aren't even gonna look exciting because they're just nymphs which are babies but I'm so excited to get them because they actually turn out so pretty when they're bigger. Oh, they're so, oh my God, they're so fast. Okay, this is what they look like. Oh, okay, they're fast. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to show you these really fast, stinking wild cockroaches. It's gonna be so cool when they're bigger. See, so yeah, these roaches are stinking wild because of people taking away their homes. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's really cool that they're still available to have, that they still exist, you know? So that's the, the light at the end of the tunnel. But yeah, they just look like little nymphs right now, but they're gonna be gorgeous when they're bigger. But I'm so excited to have these guys in my collection because they're running around. They're speed demons. They're beautiful. They're so pretty when they're adults. And I'm so excited. I feel so honored and grateful that I have these. I've wanted them for so long, ever since I've heard about them, ever since that I found out that Bugs in Cyberspace had them. I've wanted them. They've been out of stock. They finally popped back in stock, so I instantly got some. I think I have four, if I'm not mistaken, which is a good little start. And um, once again, they are extinct in the wild. It's not because people have taken them out of the wild. It's because they were living in a cave in Africa and the cave was mined for some gemstone maybe? I don't know. The cave was mined, they ruined it, they ruined their habitat, and so it's no longer livable for them. They are not extinct in the wild because they were taken out of the wild. They are still in existence because they were taken out once their home was destroyed. So yeah, so these are so awesome. I'm so excited to document their growth and like just really show um, how they turn out. They're so fast. I'm trying to even count. I'm pretty sure I got four, but 
Like, I can't even... I'm scared to even, like, look around too much because I don't want to lose any of them because they're extinct in the wild. <laughs> okay, now, this is the mystery. I'm scared. Like, what could be... What could surprise me? Like, what could shock me? I don't even know. Like, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of, like, what would be shocking to me. And I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. So... What does it say? This is a giant water bug. Okay, let's put him in something so we can see him. Now I get what he meant when he was saying that the care is surprisingly easy because I wouldn't know how to care for this. Oh my god! Tarantula cat? You gonna get one of these? Okay, let's put him in here. Can they climb? It's huge. Look at his little face. Are you friendly? Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Did you have a good trip? I kind of have goosebumps, but I kind of love him. Um, hello? Bug keeping the hobbies of the world? We are now keeping giant water bugs. Like, I have goosebumps, but I think he's adorable. I think his eyes are so cute. Like... Hi! I think I love him. I think I love him. What are we gonna name him? Oh my god, I think he's really cute. I need to get him in water because I think they swim. <gasps> he's gonna swim. He's gonna be so cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Peter. I would never have thought of getting one of those. Mind blown. Mind blown. It's really cute. Is this a toe biter? I'll have to look that up. Because I'm pretty sure I saw Coyote Peterson get bit by one of those and it was a bad day for him. But I just want to cuddle this little guy. Okay, so here is our little water bug. And by little, I mean big. I put him in some water and he instantly kind of like perked up. So this is him. His face is really good. I wonder if I can show you or if he'll be upset at me now that he's in the water. I want to show his face. Look up. Do one quick look at the camera. <laughs> he's pretty cute. These pincher thingies, though, look like a bad day to me. I don't think he can climb, but we're going to put the lid on because, you know, safety first. He's really cute. I love him. I love everything. This is the best Tuesday of my life. <laughs> wow, okay. This was the most fun I've had in a while. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope maybe it was fun for you. Let me know what you think of the new mystery pet. If you have any name ideas for him, please let me know. Um, I love picking out names with help from you guys. Please subscribe if you would like to. I would really, really appreciate it. And you can also follow me and all my lovely, beautiful, amazing animals on TikTok where we post almost every day little snippets, little videos. Sometimes we try to be a little bit funny. Sometimes we are funny. Sometimes 
We're not, but we try. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram where we post pictures. <laughs> I'm gonna go get these guys all set up and situated. And I really hope that you enjoyed this because I know I did like, oh my God, I am just, I love this little, mm. anyways, okay, I'll stop talking. I'm still talking. Would you like to say goodbye to your friends? Say bye bye. Hello. Yeah. Bye guys. So just like a little aside, a little um, BTW. Just found out that the water bug is actually venomous and can fly. So take that information and do what you will with it. Also, if you decide to handle one, just like maybe be like a little more careful than I was, you know? <laughs>